It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up. And he'll be stopped up at the 25 with the Washington football team. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Sanders first carry of the game and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage second down well done to sniff that out defensively he had it diagnosed pretty quickly I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one read his keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football and now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it third down. Sanders. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and eight. the gun it's wins and a throw there gonna be incomplete how about some applause for the defense there they forced him to throw that one into coverage and just like that they're staring at a fourth down well done now on fourth down it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away Steven Sims set to return it for Washington A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A run here for J.D. McKissick. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. At the 42-yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory 10 yards there good for a Washington first down well one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line if they keep clearing holes like that it could be a long night defensively no doubt about it because when they are in sync as we're seeing so far when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Taken down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. On second down. It's Gibson. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 
10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They'll try the air now with Smith. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. A shotgun snap for Smith. That'll be caught. It's Steven Sims. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. They get seven there, but it brings up four. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 Washington. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Hopkins. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Dancing to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Wentz on the draw leaves it for Sanders. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Full start, backs him up five, first and 15. Hey, we gotta get this stop here, Nate. What's up? 53, check 53. Check back, check back. What's up? Working from the gun, Wentz. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. For an eagle. A good pick up there, 26 yards. 10 at the 41 yard line. Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. 
Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. To throw again on second down. Wentz. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine. 13 yard line. It's 13 yard line. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. And it's incomplete. It's a dangerous pass. That's what it was. And it brings up second down. Incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in for two yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front giving him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. will make it into the end zone and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line now Washington gonna retake the field for drive number two and last time able to get three it's not what they wanted they wanted six but they got at least something they mustered something out of the drive they'll take it just I, I like the way you've described it not ideal but they'll take it anything to put some points on the board but this time on offense they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the gun, here's Smith. 
And his throw here is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Smith being chased out left. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Here's the Pro Bowl punter, Tress Way, on to punt for Washington as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Sanders on first down, not finding much of anything there as he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now left side on the swing pass. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. They're facing third and six to start things out. Shotgun now for Wentz, and that will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, the return is Sims. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw, Smith. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 13, it's a first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll run with McKissick. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. Still nine remaining on second down. Operating from the gun, Smith flush to his right. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Even after more than a decade in the league, Smith still one to account for with his legs as he picks up a first. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's McKissick. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again, Smith. Open man here, Sims complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Steven Sims Jr. there to make the grab. And Washington has retaken the lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is now 10-7. Dustin Hopkins. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. To throw. It's wins. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. That catch good for only a couple. Miles Sanders. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 28-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Wentz. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. You know, close there. He caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline, it was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you. At and he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Montez Sweat in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. At 
their own. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. He's definitely one of the best defensive tackles in the game. He's been a pro bowler the last five years running. When you run against Fletcher Cox, good luck. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. They will run it. It's McKissick. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain he can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. 13 yards there at a Washington first. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Antonio Gibson, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Play action. It's Smith. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and it'll bring up third down. By the way, I got to apologize, because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Miles Sanders, the tackle made by Chase Young. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. It's a second down run with Sanders. 
And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Well, they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. The Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That was well defense right there. He saw the play in front of him and able to hold the point of attack. Then he sheds it and goes and makes a tackle for a loss. The Eagles on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is going to be third and 13. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Washington will take over first and a look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw again, Smith. The throw taken in by Sims. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Steven Sims, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On second down now. It's Gibson, and he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Now it's Smith. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Wentz. Escaping the pressure right. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Brings up third down and four.
Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Throwing now is Wentz. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Jake so on comes the eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position with a six on the board. Ended up seven for three. taken about a yard deep and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now we get another look at Washington on offense and last time they coughed it up led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal but still they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief though when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Smith. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the 37, they work on second and six. Operating from the gun, Smith toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Yards to go. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Smith throwing again. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. Wentz now on first down. And he'll complete this one to Fulgham. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts 
as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Chase Young. In there to get him, it's a loss of five. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half. Half, all tied on the scoreboard out there set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense they have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three and it's such a tone setter isn't it because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half what do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield let's find out what they have dialed up one yard line They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. One advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. They'll keep it on the ground. Gibson. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there. And it helps him move the sticks. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. On first down, it's Gibson. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. He was brought down by. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. To throw on second and six, Smith. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. 23 yards the pick up there. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. They'll run on first down. Gibson shifts by him. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The last run got six, now second and four. From the gun, Smith. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. A carry now for McKissick. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Yeah. 
Second and five now. Smith. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. But one thing we certainly know, Alabama churns out first-round picks, and there's another nice play there by one of them. Jonathan Allen, the big defensive tackle. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Wentz. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Washington 17, Eagles 10. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On second and nine, Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket, that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just, I, they move, and they know it affects the defense, because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Wentz. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Wentz is Only three Wentz yards Wentz on the catch. Wentz it's third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Wentz going to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Working from the gun, Wentz. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. 
Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are gonna happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. A gain of 13, it's a first down. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. Wentz to throw again. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. At the 13-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. This will be caught at about the five. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now Sean Jeffrey, so dangerous, even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. This defense tough to run against, and those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get him for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Sanders, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination. And they got it done on the second try. the kicks away and this carries into the end zone and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25 so out comes Washington's offense to take over the interception on the last drive proved costly led to the tying score so 17 all as they come up on a first down shotgun now here's an inside give and he's brought down getting this one up to about the 35 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down he's obviously a bit of a shorter running back and sometimes when he goes up the middle like that he gets lost in there and then he pops out for 10 20 yards I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs and all of them confirmed that that can be a problem think of it this way Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emma Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". No gain, and it's second down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. 
Stop shy of the 45. Smith showed off a nice little move on the play, though. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Third down. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. He was taken down at the 50-yard line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. the 50 at Smith over the middle it's Thomas and he'll get it down here to the 43 seven yards there at a first down many different ways to create space but on that play he did it with that big wide body of his didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play but it did what it was supposed to pick up a first down on first down it's Gibson Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. At the Eagles' 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. Washington on third down, five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll go again with McKissick. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter time. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty. And now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post, and this thing could be over. On first and ten, here's Wentz. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Every year I go to the combine, I marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Now Wentz on third down. And that is incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. 
Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. And he'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. And to give this time to the tailback. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Washington on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and four. Throwing is Smith. Inman able to bring it in. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be third down. From the gun, here's Smith. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. From the gun on third down, wins. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Montez Sweat in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away.
And this returnable for Sims. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. down Smith the throw taken in by Sims and he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Timing is everything and they work on this cut all the time they work on all the timing patterns and this time it paid off for him worked him to the center of the field cut it to the outside balls delivered gets both feet down for the completion. be accepted of course and that moves him back five so the delay of game penalty backs him up it's now second and seven out of the gun Smith throwing middle but it's incomplete and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. It's third down and seven yards to go. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. A shotgun snap for Smith. He'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It's that. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And he missed it. It's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. So it's his second miss of the game. They both hurt. This one especially so. Yeah, you've got a chance to give your guys a second half lead. And they're counting on you to put them in front. And I tell you, there's no one more disappointed than he is that he let his guys down. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 44. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 49-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Shotgun now for Wentz. This ball complete to Rager. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Here's Sanders. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Ten more there and another first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Wentz now on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Second and 10 now from the 27. Throwing his wins. That'll be caught. Rager with it. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. 
But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Now a carry for Sanders. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Another run here with Sanders. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Try and run for it with Sanders. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by Elliott is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. Johnson returning. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now Washington down on the scoreboard. At time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Smith. incomplete and now following the incomplete pass we'll get a timeout here for an injured player while the trainers take a look we'll step aside third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Smith now to throw. Open man here, Sims complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards there on a Washington first. Huge first down, got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Smith. And a sideline pass. That's caught by Thomas. 
And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. He's back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup. First down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw to the right side and complete to Thomas. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. One last throw here for Smith. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Washington. Well, Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost fell schoolyard or playground, didn't it? Yeah, you, know, you remember when you called that play? Everybody just go long <laughs> and try and find someone open. They gave it a shot, but unable to successfully complete it. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.